Hey guys, I'm out hunting here with Jeff today. I tell you what, this place right here, we're on Hubby Street. These people over here are violent. We've had several people come and talk to us about what we're doing and everything. They're not violent, but I'll tell you what, it's been a nightmare here. We've had five or six people show up from the neighborhood wanting to know what we're doing. Jeff's over we're digging right now. And uh, I don't know if he's finding anything or not, but this is my first real good dig of the morning. It's uh, cold, it's 18 degrees this morning. It's gonna warm up a little bit, but I got a three ringer. See it? It's been shot, but that's pretty cool. First good find of the morning, three ringer. And you can see it's been fired, evidently. It's only about four inches down, so that's pretty cool. This is a big Civil War area, so uh, this has been fired and hit something, but you can sure tell the three rings on the side. So I'll put that in my Civil War collection that I have at the house and see if we can find something else. On to the next one. Hey guys, back again here. I'm still over here at 1139 Heavy. I just dug this really cool bike reflector. That's really neat. Usually they're red, but this is a green one. It's about four inches down. So, see what else we can get. I'll check it, see if it's got a date on it. Some of them had dates on them. So, we'll go on to the next one. I like that. That's cool. Hey guys, I'm back finally again. I moved to another yard with Jeff there. We're hunting over on Land Street here and then digging in the backyard, you know. I mean, a lot of places, a lot of people don't look in the backyard, but we got permission here in this backyard. So I'm back in here by these big trees. Somebody's put a chain on that tree and it grew into the tree. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it did. And I'm here by the tree, which big walnut tree. May have been a good shaded area for a picnic in the old days. And I pulled out a 1908 Indian. It's pretty toasty shape. I've done a little cleaning on it with toothbrush and put a little alcohol rub on it. And I did get a date off of it, 1908, but it's in pretty bad shape. So I'll take it. It's definitely an Indian. All that to the Indian collection here. Back side of it, about the same as the front. So we're pretty good. But anyway, it's a greenie. 1908 Indian. Gotta love that. On to the next one. I'm gonna show this, but I think it's junk. But you see how that is? I don't think it's lead. I think it's maybe a meteorite. I'll have to check it out. If it's got any magnetic value, it may be a meteorite. I got a magnet at home, I can check it. But that's cool. Come out, come in as a as a like a mid tone reading on the E track. It's probably just slag, but it just it doesn't look right to me. I don't know why. I will definitely check it out when I get home. See if it's got a mag magnetic uh, value to it. See what else we can get here. I'm hunting in this old house here, and just pulled a cool couple brooches out here. That's an awesome one. That's an awesome one. Them two are cool. I'm getting to live, getting ready to live expose you something here, Mike. <clears throat> yeah, got a live dig going on here. All right, I just popped my plug out and I broke this off. I just wanted to see what it was live because I have no idea. It's right there, you can see it. Not sure if it's a spoon bowl or what it is. I found some jewelry. Oh, oh it's a locket. It's a locket. Wow, that's cool. That is nifty. Boy, I hope there's pictures inside that. Mm. That would be awesome. It's better if there's treasure in it. If what? Treasure in it. Yeah. Oh, feels like a gold coin in there. I'll wait. We'll open that up when we get home. That is awesome. We'll That's keep super, going. That's super. That's cool, man. Hey, guys. Jeff just dug his compact, and I turned around, and I dug me a big one here. An old one. It's down about five inches or so. It's kind of... Somebody must have had a bunch of jewelry and things, and they just discarded him. I don't know, but he's found two brooches and, and a compact. And I just found this big old compact, so that's pretty cool. 
And somebody must have just got rid of all their jewelry and stuff. Something happened there at one time. You never know. On to the next one. Guys, this is guys, this is probably something that doesn't interest many people, but it's pretty cool. It's a button. And it's small, but it's kind of got some neat design. I don't know if you can make it out or not. It's got like rosary flowers around it or something. It's different. I believe it to be a button of some sort. It's kind of neat. I like it. I think it's got some writing on it too, right on the edge. I'll have to research it out and see what I can find about it. But it's a pretty neat find. It's old. I'm happy about that. It's about four inches deep. All right, see what else we can get. I'm gonna knock this off my bucket list here. I think it's an old shaving head. I'll have to clean it up, but it looks like it to me. I read it out, it's a handle or something. All right, let's see what else we can get. It's definitely different. Well guys, this backyard has definitely been different. That's for sure. This is my second compact. Jeff's dug two compacts. And he said he may have another one over there. This has got a little bit of a design to it. Down about three inches. Somebody must have uh, thrown away a lot of jewelry and compact stuff at one time. I don't know, but it's kind of different in your backyard. Not what you'd expect to find, but you just never know. So you just got to keep digging. And see what else we can get. Hey guys, I just popped this button out. That's pretty cool. It's got a great shank on the back. See, it's intact. Don't know how old it is, but it's a pretty neat find. I don't know if that's a violin or a harp or I don't know what it is for sure. I don't know if it went like that. That's awesome. About three inches deep here in the yard, in the backyard still of this home. So we'll go on and see if we can get something else. Alright. I'm into this. Good find. Check this out. That's pretty cool really old brooch you see it there's a pin in the back right there it's a clip-on brooch I think it's a little different got some great design to it though doesn't it alrighty I'm happy to have that it's different it's unique okay so I'll clean it up to clean up and see how good it cleans up on to the next one Hey guys, I got my first weed of the day. About three or four inches down. Had a really terrible signal though, so I think there's some trash in that hole. First wheat, 1944, I do believe. Yep, it's 44. All right, that's awesome. Let's see if we can get another one here along the side of the house here. All right, guys. Jeff and I are digging out in the front yard here. Now, he had already hit this once before week or two ago and we worked the back over and we come back here in front he already found him an Indian head yours at 1889 you said so you got a good old 1889 and I just started digging here in the front yard I got a 1436 on the e-track and down about uh, oh I'm gonna guess it was there so right in there about this deep here I don't have a tape measure on but that's probably six inches or so maybe a little over on edge just like this and this clod right here was the uh, Indian head and it is a 19 or 18 oh or 1904 I'm sorry 1904 Indian I don't know if you can see it or not it's in really good shape though real green oh, it's awesome second Indian of the day third for the team we're gonna go on a little more but three Indians so far Let's see if we can get another one hey guys it's got me an old pistol bullet here See it? I don't know how, how old it is, but it's old, but I mean, I don't know if it's Civil War or not. It's flattened out. This would be the back, that'd be the front. See how flat it made it? It's pretty cool. So it's just like that. All right. It's down there by this old tree. See how this is indented here? This tree? And so it was down on the edge of that tree. So see if we can, oh, there was a dog bone in here too. Somebody buried a dog bone there. I'll get back to the dog. That way the dog can find it later. So it's back in the hole. All right, let's go on. Hey guys, Missouri Mike here. Just doing another cleanup on another hunt. I'm gonna call this one the compact hunt. 
We hunted uh, Jeff and I in the old part of town. This is one of the strangest houses I've ever been on. Very, very strange. I found about three or four compacts here. And he found three or four also and found some really nice older jewelry at this home site. So we did a pretty much most of the day hunt. I'll show you what I found here. Some kind of unique stuff got the atlas lid here and a ball lid both then I got the <clears throat> compact here it's got a clear deal on it there I don't know if it was a metal or a, a mirror at one time and it's in pretty good shape I actually had it closed there and open it up this one right here this compact got a piece of glass and it. it's a bigger one well those things are pretty neat there's all different kinds of them I, I just can't amaze me how many of these you find in the yards if you get to looking and they'll be deep too they'll go deep on them compacts I don't know how they get that deep but they do got a dogs are playing there that's that's my old one there that's that's a little uh, sissy sissy say hi She's white face. That's Lily there. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. They're on film. All right. Now I just got the little bit in here, and they're leaving for leavings. Scraps. They're looking for leavings. All right. Back to the good stuff here. Got this old motorcycle deal here. What's kind of unique about this is it's got a metal axle, metal front wheel. Rubber back wheels. I kind of think this is fairly old. Doesn't have a date on or anything, but I, I just the way it, the way the front wheel looks, it looks like it's you know fairly old one. Got a uh, uh, old reflector here. I don't find a lot of those. But that's an old reflector. Watch bezel part on the end of that. I have no idea. I think this is some sort of window lock here. Looks like an older window lock, like a casement lock. I used to work in windows, so maybe that's what it is. Got the old brass water hose nozzle. That's solid brass, so I'll turn it into the scrap yard. <clears throat> On to a few of the better finds. Let's see, I got uh, about 18 zinc pennies here in this hunt. I only got six Lincolns, a 61 here and a 62D. 61 and a 62D on this one. Pretty good shape on them. You know, getting up 50, 55 years old because I can't tell you, but one of them two years I was born in, so I don't want to age myself, but you can guess. Uh, three dimes and a quarter. An old clad quarter. Boy, I cannot believe how many of these clad quarters you find, but you used to, oh, I never find hardly a silver. One of these days I'll get a get a good silver run, but not right now. I got a 1904 Indian. That one's in nice shape. Got a 1906 Indian. That was in terrible shape. You can get a date off of it, boy, it's pretty crusty. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's in bad shape though. The back's about as bad as the front. It was in the backyard of this house site. And a 1944D. The only wheat penny was in the yard that I found was this one here. And Jeff may have found it in the end. And he may have found a few wheats too. But anyway, I got this cool brooch looking thing here. That's kind of neat. Happy to have that. Of course, you know Springfield's the town I live in if you've watched any of my videos. There's a fired bullet there. I don't know, it's flat, but it didn't have any patina on it, so I don't think it's just real old. But I did find this one, which is definitely a three ringer. You can see the rings on it. Definitely a Civil War bullet. No doubt about it. Been smashed flat, hit something hard, I guess. And it's probably not the bigger kind, probably a 54 caliber, but still, I'm happy to have it even though it's tore up. It's got some good character to it. Definitely a bullet. Definitely a three ringer. 
Civil War town, Civil War stuff. You can find them anywhere in town. Any yard could have, potentially have one of those or two of those or three of those or whatever. Got the old razor head here. First one in I've ever dug. You can see it. That's the first razor head I've ever dug. A couple other junky pieces here. Some aluminum scrap. And I got a couple buttons. This button was kind of unique. Bunch of holes in it. Thought that was a little different. And I got your standard two holer here. I found a lot of these. Well, not a lot, but some more of them. Then I got a cool button here. It looks like it's got a harp or something on it. Kind of neat. And on the back it said Cred Core and Company, Kansas City, Missouri. So it's a Missouri token there. Good pendant on it. Probably from the 40s, maybe 50s. Not just real ancient, but still a cool find. Got some great character to it. Got another piece of lead here. I don't think this is bullet lead. I think it uh, doesn't have any detail to it as far as, you know, being round or anything. I don't think it's a musket ball or anything like that. And probably one of the more unique finds, if you watch me anything on my Facebook page or do any of that stuff, I posted this on this page as a den of dragon, with the dragon being right there, coming out right there on the, on the neck, and then a coyote coming out here on the bottom. I actually was going to throw this away. I put it in a tumbler, I tumble it for a day, I look it over, it's all cruddy looking, like it's trash. I'm looking at it, no writing on it of any kind, no design on it, kind of a weird cut shape. And I'm thinking, well, I'll put it in the copper pile. I believe it's copper. So, anyway, I put it on, and I got to cleaning it, and I thought, wow, there's a design on this, right? That's a dragon and a coyote. So cool. That's what I'm thinking put it on American Digger ID site it wasn't up 10 minutes first text come by says cool second text come by says turn that sideways and look it's a man and if you turn it this way sure enough it's a man of some sort can you see it so I was looking at it this way. I was just not smart enough to figure out that you need to turn it this way and you come up with a person. And you can see the detail on it. Somebody said it's got a like a a money stamp there. You can see all the detail on it. I don't know anything about this. It's definitive. I've been told several things, you know, I just don't know. Some people say it's a stamp for printing press. ID stamp. I have no idea what it is. I think it's fairly old. Been told this person could be anywhere from Mark Twain to Boss Hogg and Dukes of Hazard to uh, George Washington Carver, Nixon. Don't know. Don't know who this figure is. If any of you see this video and you can make anything out on it you know I'd be appreciated if you let me know but somebody took the time to put this on this plate so I'm thinking this is a plate that you would use to maybe print with stamp of some sort where you would take it and maybe stamp an item maybe it went into a, a plate thing that you had a handle on I don't know but somebody took the time to put a face on this piece of copper and put it on in detail for what reason I don't know no date know anything about it and this is how it come out of the ground so I guess moral of the story is if you think you dig something and you think it may be junk take a second look at it because you just never know you just never know and I was this close to throwing it in the scrap pile but that's what it is. And I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but it's kind of neat. Unique item. You're not going to find very many of these. I just don't believe it. 
So I don't know who made it or what anything about it, but it's kind of neat. So anyway, that's just a little story I had to uh, go along with this piece here. And I, I, I hope you can get out and dig. I mean, I, I enjoy the metal Texan so much. It's unbelievable. I've, I've got the bug or whatever you want to call it. I love to go. And it doesn't matter if I find anything. I mean, I just, I just like getting out and going. And it's enjoyable for me. So, you know, every hole's different. You know, you never know what you're going to dig. So, all this stuff, no value to, to anybody is far as value money wise but to me it's it's got a memory so it's pretty neat stuff so anyway you guys get out get a chance it's going to warm up next week but up in the 60s 70s here in missouri get a chance to get out and do some hunting until next time my call off sign is until next time this is mike and i'm out <laughs>